What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play of the Portuguese Empire. So to pick up where we left off, uh, well, we've taken Edinburgh and we've also got a bit of a battered but uh, increasingly useful navy on our hands. Uh, slowly building up our uh, dry dock into a naval hospital here in Gibraltar to help boost our fleets. But for right now, we've got a decent fleet of ships of the line plus a couple of secondary fleets with reasonable uh, assets located to them. So what I'm probably going to focus on doing is winning this conflict in the British Isles and try and secure a temporary peace with Great Britain, as well as continue to drive up the Central American Peninsula. We were trying to build up an army here at Caracas, um, but it appears that's not going to happen. Um, but yes, I think... The plan is secure Ireland, try get peace, then head over to America. They probably try, oh, I suppose, 13 colonies. Hmm. It may be worth declaring war on the 13 colonies before trying to make peace with Britain, because I want to focus on invading mainland uh, North America. That would be my preference. We're currently at war with the Dutch, but I'm not interested, because right now we've got the French buffer zones. They're keeping us safe from most of the uh, interactions here in Central Europe. So let's check our research. Nothing immediate is happening. Salamanca is focusing on reform naval administration. Maybe not potentially the smartest thing to focus on, but I do want to keep folk to I do want to keep driving up the naval track because I am trying to build up a reasonable navy. Speaking of, I think. Actually, no, you're good. Okay, good. So, let's hit end 10. I will likely chop the recording when it gets to the Ottoman Empire. So, yeah, they're raiding Glasgow. That's fine. Mostly focusing on trying to get my army. Don't want to intercept. Hmm. If I click no, will they run into the city? Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. So, we're going to lay siege to Antigua. We're not going to attack because we've got so many things to do. I'm not focused on sprinting up this part of the world yet. You can see now the Ottoman Empire is now a republic. And as if on cue, I'm going to drop the recording. So see you guys in a second. And we are back. Um, yes, interesting that the Ottomans man managed to foment a revolution because revolutions have actually... Revolutions are fairly rare in this game, but if, if anyone's going to revolt, I'd say it's the Ottomans and or the Mughals or the Marathas. They're the ones that usually tend to overthrow the governments. Everyone else is generally not quite so ready for turmoil, I suppose. Anyway, let's crack on. I'm glad I've got that buffer between myself in Central Europe, because those Ottoman, those are smaller German states, they do love an invasion. They do love an invasion. Not so bothered about the Barbary states, they're, they're actually limited to only one more territory. They've just been beaten back by the Swedish Navy. 14,000. That's a good amount of cash. Looks like our agent's trying to destroy the Glasgow Harbour. So here at Le Havre, let's recruit a sloop. Okay, so I've got a lot of things to spend money on. Ah. I've missed you. So, this fleet. Trade. Trade zone. Trade region. Leander, congratulations. You can take up our position as flagship of our next battle fleet. So, I want to build up. I want to build a third rate because we're they're quite expensive. Two third rates. That's a little bit of a useful boost. Actually, no, I can't do that. I, well, I'm going to build. They're still quite expensive. Okay, right. I'm going to have to stick to fourths for now. Or, no, build one third. 7,300. That's a good amount of money. Because we do have territories here to rebuild. 
4,000. Not quite enough for my this entire army, but let's do some combining. And then you withdraw. I mean, the militia is, is, is they will be useful, but I'm not sure where. I'm going to use. Let's take a unit of. Let's take an Irish Brigade and a Line Infantry unit into Edinburgh. These men combine and make their way back to Portsmouth to get back over to the continent. Can you leave Edinburgh? You can! Nice. So let us attack the British build up here in Glasgow. We will be trying to destroy as many men as possible. But yeah, if I can, if I can take, take Ireland. I mean, it would be quite frustrating if I, if I take Ireland, declare one thirteen colonies. Or oh, maybe I might. Hmm. I'm not ready to invade thirteen colonies yet. So what I'm probably going to do is take the British Isles, then contain them in the Med, and prepare for that war against. 13 colonies in future. Deploy my guns. My regular infantry can have to do most of the heavy lifting. Something like that will roughly do. My more elite brigades on the left. The regulars together. Oh, I've got a bit of a missed, uh, minimized screen. Come on. I'm not quite sure what caused that. But anyway. Combine my cavalry. Very well. Onward, my comrades. Just turn my volume a little bit down. There we go. Hard. You may get the first shots off, but it will not matter. Form square, because the general's the enemy general's bodyguard is charging. Gunners continue to engage the 12-pounder. Hold the square. There we go. We've kept the square strong. Hopefully they'll be drawn back into fighting the square. There they go. There goes the militia. Push onward. Hello. It's the Highlander Warband. I charge the Highlander Warband. They're currently shaken. They're being engaged by my skirmishes. We don't want to necessarily stay in a sustained engagement with them. But we definitely do want to engage them. They're defeated. Any militia, you can hold them off.
done is engage the regiment of horse at point blank range. Try blasting the canister shot. There we go. Port fire. Round shot the militia at max range. On driving forward. We've got the British trapped here. They can't retreat. They can't retreat away from my line. Hussars, get behind the warband. This regiment of horse, get over here and attack the Scottish line. Let's get my general over here. Get my elites up into the village. But yeah, generally, I think the enemy are trapped. They can't retreat. They can't retreat straight back because this blocks them. They can't retreat this way because we block them. They have to go that way. So it behooves us now. Slaughter as many men as can be found. That's a regiment of horse that's routing, so we're not bothered about them, we're bothered about the Scottish line infantry. I suppose technically we're interested in the ball. Gunners ceasefire. The only unit left is this unit of militia. Hey, they're going to try and route towards us. Fascinating. are going to continue. Okay, that bayonet charge is enough to persuade them that maybe they don't want to run towards us. Ultimately, hot fire. We want people to pursue, even the infantry. Go on, then. If you can knock out this Highlander Warband unit, go a long way towards helping knock out the rest. The Usars are free. go. More cavalry to fix pathfinding. You gotta love killing regular line infantry units. Well, there's only two. Ah, uh, they fled. Yeah, pathfinding when they're spread out is just a nightmare. You need serious numbers of cavalry to make that work. Spread everywhere. They were never all going to be killed. We can just kill a handful that stop fight against us. But still, it's a good victory. Take all you can get. I'm f I don't. I can't remember what the Dublin garrison looks like. Obviously, retreat northward. You men replenish. Way out. Fleet arrives. Okay, so let's split up. Nope. Just the one, just the one ship. Okay, good. You go to the to Korea, you go to there. Good. I'm very sure this was you. It was. Both of those are done. Liverpool's got a trade for on Swansea's got a craft workshop, so we're up to 16,000 a turn, which is pretty good. 
There's nobody we aren't trading with that could we could trade with except for the Barbary states, but I don't care about them. Yeah, we're raiding here. That's fine. Good. Morocco is becoming majority Catholic. Ideally, I'd like you to be a sloop. Let's hit enter. Maintain the siege of Antigua. We could definitely attack it, but I'm not. We've got a few things to work out first. So let's see what happens again. I suspect uh, you want an alliance for 670. Nope. There we go. So now we follow the traditional ending of the turn during the Ottoman phase. See you in a minute. And we are back, but it looks like... <laughs> oh, don't tell me Russia's starting. I mean, they've just taken... No, they've just taken back some territory from Poland. Well, it looks like Sweden has actually... They've made a entrance into the continental war by taking Hanover so I'd be curious to see what direction they go east or west I am more than happy to consolidate my empire <laughs> rather than getting involved in a major European war that's why the presence of those French buffer countries is so valuable Corland still exists at least for now The Barbary State's probably going to get taken out by the first ship they run into. 16,000 is pretty good. Fleet arrives. Uh, yes, this is part of my bedraggled fleet. No, again. There we go. So give... There we go, something like that. Boost my tr boost my trade income a bit. We've probably crashed the ivory price, but these things happen. Uh, Sixteen thousand. Get another third rate on the go. Got another spy, so let's send the spy over to Munich. Send you up to Berlin. Hey, my army here. You can reach those stragglers. I'm going to auto resolve it because we've already fought them before. Plenish and head back home. So in Liverpool, let's build a sloop. 11,000. Best way to spend this. Well, let's boost my economy a bit. We've already built. Contributed to my naval expansion. Let's get a commercial base in here in Madrid. And here in. Or do I build? Great Parliament. Increase repression, increase bonus tax income. I may as well do that first. As it is in my home territory. We've built a sloop in the channel to cover La Havre. Oh, I'm not so bothered about efficiency of movement. So let's bring my sloop across. Bring them back into the fold. There we go. So we're doing quite well on the stability front. 620. How many turns can you hold out? Three turns. Again, I'm quite happy to crank the turns for now. Expansion of my navy will be quite useful for me. Curious to know where you're going, or going to go, with your army. But you are allied to him, allied to me, but you can screw me over. Every day, though, Britain becomes more and more chill with us running their country. And they're becoming more Catholic. I should make you an order just to march straight over to Dublin. And we can hit and turn once more. Let's see if United Provinces decide to sally and attack us, but if not, I suspect it will be another chop and change. 
Let's give them a bit of a break. And I don't like the fact that I've not seen any movement yet. So, oh, Sweden's on the march. And Sweden has taken Westphalia. Interesting. They're getting involved in the European conflict in a big way. Let them continue. I could potentially. No, no I don't want. I want. I like the idea of going for Boston. Although I could, to be honest, taking Mexico and cranking up from the south in that way will be quite significant. Potentially go for Louisiana. Interesting possibilities. Proven report. It's got a first third rate has been commissioned. In one more turn, we can start recruiting first rates. So I'm not going to build anything. I want to start building. There you go. Westphalia has been destroyed. Yeah, I want to start building uh, first rate ships of the line. Can you guys upgrade your. You can to a great arsenal because I want to get a howitzer. Okay, let's upgrade our... First of all, upgrade our economy in the homeland. Upgrade the drill school, get line infantry guards, grenadier guards. I suppose I want to maintain... Or do I go straight for the military academy? Except that Lisbon's going to be left behind. I think economy works best for now. Orders, Capitão. How are things looking in the Americas? I want to keep some money because we probably have. Trade port, Cartagena. Can you build a sloop? Panama, upgrade to a governor's, governor's council. Upgrade to a sugar warehouse. Not yet because I want to take Antigua. We've had a few turns. But we have had any action. So let's, so let's fix that. Let's take Antigua. And then repair the government building, we build our forces and drive northwest towards Mexico. I think soon, if not far away from the end of the new Spanish Empire, it's been replaced by a more pure nation, a Portuguese nation. We're going to call it New North Brazil. So let's set my guns up. Format my infantry center. Horde of militia on the right. Grenadiers and pikes on the left. Frontiersmen on the right as well. Backed up by skirmish cavalry. My colonial lights. That's my commander on the left. Charge that gun position rapidly. My militia advance up a little further. With my frontiersmen in support, plus my Skirmish Cavalry, there they are. Group 6. But yeah, there's no point waiting. On the, there's no point waiting in the centre because right now we're just going to get hit by canister shot and so on. So drive forward. My artillery is... Oh, I suppose they're not doing anything actually. Let's target some of their line formations with my guns. They're not firing, we're just going to open fire on them with muskets. Got militia and Hessian line, that's fine. They're suddenly realising they can't give up the initiative. Let's rotate these, these guys a little bit more. There goes the mortars. I 
grenadiers for pikemen charge up flank. My cavalry is waiting. Oh, you think you can get a better deal against my militiamen? No fear not. Yeah, that's a volley at close range. up the hill towards the enemy there we go human charge the hessian line charge my light cavalry through You're being cut down by my volleys. Militia advance to fill the gap somewhat. You men charge the Hessian line. You men charge the, the auxiliary just to make sure they're routing. What to shatter them. Shattered, charge on into colonial militia. Hmm, don't know why the sound's being intermittent. Push, push, push. The left flank has crumbled. Pikemen get in here and back up the attack against the mission line. Gunners retarget Biolock Armed Citizenry. Did a real number on that mission line. Actually, maybe focus on that native bow unit. Yeah. Hessian line on the flank. Cannot withstand this. to push across their line. My pikemen stay near the defences. My general is just not in the fight, so let's put him in a bit more of a put him in a bit more of a ceremonial position. So you chase down the 24th to make sure they are routing. Bowman, just to make sure. Pikemen charge down the hill into the 25th. You don't follow them too far. Go on, break them. Break them before you get to the barricade. Bad luck. Form up behind the line with your muskets ready. Push up. Who's that? Tessian line. Form up. Gunners engage the 23rd. My pikemen are actually mowing apart the 25th. Enemy general has been killed. Nicely done. You are hiding behind cover. The pikemen are going to push your flank. To be honest, I think they're just going to be in a bit of a jam until my pikemen get into position. Otherwise, it looks like everyone's decided they don't want to play anymore. There you go. 
through hammering them with volleys. That was enough to make them decide. Let's get out of here, fellas. Nice. So the city is taken. Hopefully, well, should be with relatively few casualties. Oh, darn right. So we can repair the government building, replenish my troops. Get the farms upgraded. Actually, do we want great estates already pretty good? We want to get better roads. Coffee, sugar. Coffee it is. Just a smidge, and it's coffee is what we produce less of at the minute. Can't upgrade this. But everything else. Yeah, that's pretty good. That was a good capture. You're building a ship to occupy the port. You could build a fifth rate. It's privateer. Let's build a fifth rate. Let's boost our naval force in the Caribbean. Okay, good. So this is a bit of a concern. It looks like Westphalia is going to rebel hard. So it's going to take them some time to take control of the territory. It is probably far quicker. Take you over here. You get aboard, get aboard ship. You sail to Waterford. You march to Dublin. Demand the surrender of Dublin. I think it is it's interesting now to try. I mean I don't really I mean I don't I do and don't want to make peace. That's the problem. I'm okay if they well, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Um if they're willing to sail more ships into my net to capture them. Then all more power to them. Up to nearly 19,000. That's really good. The Ottomans are currently being blockaded. As is Crimea. As are the Mughals. We need to repair this government building. And build another sloop. So this militia unit. You go to Liverpool. The sloop go up to Glasgow. That's all our ports in Great Britain covered. That's quite a significant moment. One more turn till Rights of Man is researched, then they're going to hop on to National Debt or Wealth of Nations. One or the other, I haven't decided which yet. My agents continue their infiltration. Austria's going after Istanbul. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. The Dutch can't do anything. <laughs> They've They've well and truly been knocked out. Prussia's in a bit of a... I'm not sure who they're at war with. See, now they're offering a lot more money, but I'm just not interested. They want to draw me into a European war, and I'm not interested at all. Radio, as is tradition, I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, looks like Sweden's pushing on. Oh no, I suppose the Argo actually... All they're doing is consolidating their own territory. Venice is sending troops. Don't worry, Württemberg, you're next on Sweden's chopping block, I would imagine. Oh, th watch them all get destroyed. Hey, actually, he made it somewhere. Naval Hospital in Gibraltar. Awesome. Heavy firsts, firsts. Some real good stuff. So let's get... Our first two first rate ships of the line in the water. Or maybe only one, because they're expensive. Because you want to repair this. I mean, I can probably leave already. Yep, because Dublin or Ireland is Catholic anyway. So, I've got a lot of things I can spend money on. And ports are generally pretty good way to spend money as our industrial towns 
And over in the Americas, I need to move this sloop over to Puerto Bello. Let's upgrade the steam pumped iron mine. And you fellows. March on to New Mexico. Because we've got the Pueblo Nations and Santa Fe, which is also New Mexico up here. So if we check out the Pueblo Nations, Protector of Georgia. So if we. Eh, it's not a problem. If we attack the Pueblo Nations, we'll be drawn into conflict with Georgia, but that could give us some useful avenues, actually. Because doesn't Georgia own some trade spots somewhere three fourths and a fifth okay so then this fleet ah yes you built galleons to go over to the trade zones but we don't really need them yet so these galleons or this fleet will raid the trade zone the trade trade nodes good 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 apart from that I think everything's okay we do raid it that was us recruitment report third rate and a sloop in the Caribbean so yeah this this little navy's gonna be pretty good that is we don't have a huge amount of targets. When I've taken out this, I suppose the thing to do now is to build up. I suppose I could actually take capture these two territories. Would be quite useful. Build up force here in Caracas and go capture Paramaribo and Cayenne from the Dutch. There's a lot of things we can do. So research paddling furnace, and you've gone to full field crop rotation, and the rights of man has gone on to national debt. So I think if anyone wants to change is all they are. Maybe go on to punch card loom for the flat wealth bonuses. Maybe seed planting drill, because we're going to gradually Yeah, we're gonna slowly start taking more and more plantations, so Reducing the cost of these plantations would be a good idea. 20,000 we get per turn. Mostly it's ivory tusks, but we're going to be boosting our commodity production soon. Right, okay. Let's hit enter. Yes, France, you've got to prepare yourself. You've got to defend yourself against... Ooh, trade green. No way, Jose. Counteroffer. What about just Gibraltar? No payment, and we do this. Very well. I have no interest in giving up my territory of Gibraltar. No way. There is no amount of money you could pay me. I think I take... I think I take Istanbul. Holy moly. Austrian powerhouse. Okay, that might really help us because it might speed up the number of interactions and how long it will take the Ottoman Empire to finish their turn. Potentially. Well, that's really interesting. I'm really glad that Austria... Oh, well, I mean, they could easily lose um, Istanbul and it could rebel and all sorts of bad things could happen. But that's really cool. I think that's really cool. But I think for now, I suppose what can I? Who? Uh, I I don't want to invade or attack anyone in Europe now. I'm not interested in Malta. I'm not interested in Tunis. So my campaign against Britain is completed. I could take Morocco. That's the only other region I would be interested in taking. So that's an option. Other than that, I think my focus is going to be in Europe. That's where... Not in Europe, the Americas, sorry. Um, 
but it looks like I might be chopping chopping this recording because of Poland, interestingly, because because nothing's happening. So, see you in a second. Oof. So, I got a bit of insight. <laughs> the Polish intern took forever, and the Ottomans not quite so much. So, it's quite interesting how well most of the time this comes from. The computer moving individual units one at a time rather than as a stack. That's generally how these things get bogged down. But that's why you have your phone and just screw around on YouTube and such. <laughs> Gotta find something to do. So, so, so. The Barbary State has got smacked by the Genoa Navy. Bad luck. Yes, yeah, Spanish fleet. Panama, the port has been built, and Guatemala has built their their uh, plantations. Twenty thousand. That's pretty good. Upgrade the university to a modern university, and we're we're still we're really positive on the public order. So I'm not going to build. I'm not going to upgrade this coaching in to counter it yet. Let's build a heavy first ray. That's going to suck up some cash. And we also need to keep building up our economy. Because I'm building increasingly expensive assets. I need to have them. I need them to be supported. Abundant yield iron mine. Just flat upgrade in wealth. Or upgrade ports, and the ports provide plus three per turn to town wealth in the region, so that will just keep cranking up. That's pretty good. I'm all about I'm all about the the uh, technologies and buildings that in, that increase your town your your growth rate per turn because that's just it just stacks and stacks and stacks and becomes silly, especially as tax keeps going up. It's nice to keep on growing. But it's on where we focus it. 27 turns till Mallorca grows. Not super bothered about making that happen too much faster. I think what I want to do is crank out some more copper. Not copper, coffee. By, by pushing up through the town, at least I'm minimizing the chance that New Spain could have troops. Could have troops in awkward places. Yeah, good stuff. And. No, can't do anything yet. Building up my fleet. Because the thing is with the fleet, you're gonna. Well, when you, by the time you need it, it's too late. Okay. Everything's done. I don't think there's a huge one I can do. I mean, yeah, I'm at war with Amsterdam. But I don't want to take Amsterdam because that exposes me to war with uh, Sweden. Which I really don't want. Marathas, unfriendly. Let us trade. Let us do business. Hey, Sweden. You want longitude watch? I'll take a grand, sure. I mean, I know you hate me. But I'll take a thousand smackaroos. 1400, what does that get me? Something to boost my economy. So none of these buildings that talk about boosting happiness and religious conversion. Opera house to a grand opera house? That'll do. I'll take that. Actually... Probably no. It's only no. I'll I'll build the Grand Opera House because infantry's about a thousand a pop. So let's just keep on upgrading. Okay, you're still moving. Nothing on the horizon as far as technology goes, and I'm upgrading you to be a next level university. To upgrade top tier techs. You've got national debt, which is pretty good because it's a flat up keep cut across the board. Yeah, flat up keep cut 
is pretty nice. Okay, let's hit enter. I'd be I'm very curious to see what Sweden does. We may end up in a conflict with them. Looks like Austria is not messing around as far as securing the Balkans. They've increased their strength around the capital. The question is, will they be able to work out? Oh, I forgot the United Provinces own Ceylon. So if we build a force on Antigua, they'll go take out the Dutch colonies in South America. Then they will continue on and sail to Ceylon. Nope, no alliance for you. Will that cause <laughs> will that cause their entire strategy to just grind to a halt? You have to wonder if they've got if there's gonna be a river like say is, is Warsaw the middle of their empire and it's the only place they can cross over a certain river is, and it's causing them pathfinding issues. It's completely possible. Oh no, they've gone. So this is why the Ottoman Empire takes so long. You see all these individual units in dribs and drabs. But nevertheless, they are arming up because they know they, they have a proper fight on their hands now. Because they're losing their hold, they're losing their hold in the uh, in the Balkans, and it's only a matter of time before um, Austria realizes they can cross the Dardanelles into Ankara. Although based on that remarkable growth of forces, I don't think they're going to because they've just managed to combine a whole bunch of units into three stacks. So what you're seeing here, this is what happens in the fog of war that you don't see. That's why now it feels like nothing's happening, because it's units shuffling around the world that we don't see. Oh, they're going to come back and try to take it off you, but at least I haven't got to end the turn. End the recording at least. Woohoo! Right. I wonder if Russia's going to kick off against Sweden. That would be a puzzler. They're driving in against Amsterdam. They've been repulsed. I don't necessarily want the Dutch to die. I mean, it would make my, my invasion of South America simpler. But I would very much prefer not to have a superpower on the European continent yet. Should the worst happen, and we have to be engaged in a European war, then we will do that. My army in Britain will land in Scandinavia. 28,000. First Richard of the Line. Your nation has launched a first ship of the line, the first of its kind amongst your rivals. I don't know how, because we managed to capture one from Britain. A truly awesome sight to behold. This enormous vessel carries a crew of 800, weighs 2,000 tons, is armed with over 100 cannons, the very pinnacle of available naval technology. Damn right it is. And it belongs to the Portuguese. Let's get another first ship of the line. New port emerges in Guatemala. Go to a trade port. Down here, let's build a sloop. Keep the invasion going. Won't go very well until we meet the roads. We could have could could have gone by ship, but I'm not overly worried about attacking immediately. I'm not worried about palatial states either. Okay, in terms of maximizing my return on investment, let's go for but not my return on investment. Uh, the Americas. Okay, so. Great Arsenal would be useful. Have you got any frontiersmen? No, two frontiersmen. Three militia. Two guns. That's, a, that's enough. That's a good amount to be getting on with. We can upgrade more. Well, if we're going to do build roads, you probably want to do it in our home territories first and roll out such upgrades. Upgrade a weaver's cottage. I mean, there's a lot we can do. 
Uh, hmm. Amy Cartagena. For Seville, I mean, it just increases happiness for the Catholic population, which you haven't yet got to worry about because they're already super happy. Same with France, super happy. I mean, they've got a good garrison, but even without the garrison, they're still super happy. Uh, probably upgrade the church school here in London just to try and do it, increase the conversion, although we are about to complete our religious takeover yep first rate ship of the line no screwing around you want to try it britain you're not recruiting any ships george comes after us with their mixed mixed fleet of bees yes you could be doing something so let's take you land them on the off of the Italian coast and get back to Cartagena to control the port you potentially get down to the Balkans to see what's going on over here because yeah they're going to make you fight for it minus 11 no the university's damaged so your religious unha your unhappiness is they hate you and you've not repaired any of the buildings yet. Ooh, Gail Cardenas. Plus two management for army administration. Please say that's my guy. It is my guy. Well, my navy guy's currently got no bonuses. You're pretty good. Four star basic plus happiness for everyone. Plus one treasury. Okay, you're pretty. You look good, but you're useless. You're useless. You're useless. So what I want to do... I think... Oh no! Constitutional monarchy, damn it! Oop. Oh god, even worse! So used to playing absolute monarchies. Okay, so we're going to lose a bit of cash because my minister's rubbish. Okay, let's crank out another end turn. France is getting ready to repel a Swedish invasion. They're still pushing down into the Balkans. If they can convert Istanbul, that'll be significant. The Ottomans are rallying. But it remains to be seen if they can do what needs to be done. I mean, they're heading that direction. But will they cross the strait and retake Istanbul? Will Sweden once once more try again against the United Provinces? They're going to be fighting against rebels and so on. But apart from that, the rest of the world seems to be progressing as generally expected. More ships for the Georgian Navy. Lots of good construction. So now you can build a howitzer because I'm expect. Okay, I'm going to spend a bit of cash on upgrading my military infrastructure in Paris. So I, I am anticipating eventually they'll take the take Amsterdam, and then we'll suddenly have a war on our front doorstep. So let's upgrade all our ports to commercial ports rather than going too far up the ladder there keep my construction going upgrade a dockyard to a dry dock upgrade you to a governor's chambers do you need dragoons don't dragoons, just colonial light cav and one more infantry unit. Potentially another gun. Leave it as is. Drive on, don't break anything. All 
interested in that navy. Another heavy first rate. We haven't put another ship in to recruit yet. And we likely won't because we haven't got any money. So I've spent it all. But that's a really good navy. Okie dokie. Nothing on the horizon as far as research goes. But yeah, this is a good shout. I probably don't want to say good dingies. Recruit another gun. Let's start to build up our strength on the border. I think we're going to be in a position to need it. Because if the Swedes take Amsterdam, they lose all their colonial possessions, which is great for us, but it does mean that we'll have an aggressive an aggressive country pushing on our borders. So if we lose one of the French territories, we might be in a bit of a pickle. And no, we're not going to help you fight against the Austrians. Austria is currently one of our trading partners. Will the Ottomans cross the strait? They're going to have a they're going to have a great council. Ottomans asking for an alliance in the name of the Republic. Mm, yeah. Sorry, Ottomans. We are a great empire, that is true. But we do not yet have any desires in Eastern Europe. I imagine Sweden spending a lot of time fighting off rebels. See, I want to land in the Americas, but there's so many. <laughs> there we go, there immediately. Opportunity to intercept. Ooh, go on then. Uh, but yeah, I want to invade uh, the 13 colonies, but there's so many delicious prospects in South America that I can't not do it. I mean, if yeah, I probably do want to land, do want to go for South America first, then go for North America. It's probably the order I want to do it. Artillery. Such an experienced army. Let's put one gun. On the high ground. Drop my militia line on the right flank. Another formation of regular line infantry. Oh, go on, you can squeak in there. Maybe you cannot. You'll deploy there and then run out in front of the terrain feature. So the frontiersman on the left could go up there but that's too much of an angle you would be shooting into the back of our men pikes behind the guns we will be looking to kill as many Spaniards as we can in this engagement To be honest, I think the better decision is to advance. Advance with an eye on surrounding. Going up the light cavalry to the rear, that's not so bad. But let's keep on. It's like you're engaging the native bowmen, so let's say, okay, you guys push up to here. So you men drive. On towards the enemy cavalry. 
But we are. We're getting into a position where we can start to make it happen. Keep pushing aggressively. We've got the strength, we've got the quality to make it happen. Colonial Light, get ready. Roughly, we can get it done. That's roughly it. Roughly. Probably tighten some of these corners in. Push on, push on. There we go, now everyone open fire. Because look at that. Yes. Can you get cavalry back? The door's going to be shut on these last remaining routing troops. To be honest, let's make sure it happens. Make sure the guns cease fire. So much slaughter. These last remaining gunners that are sat in the centre. Yeah, continue. But at least you guys can collectively then shut off. Tap yourselves. So these two units are going after these last seven you help this infantry unit go after those go after the first regiment oh that's it that's going to be here you're probably you are going to let those guys escape but overall that is pretty tasty victory Colonial Militia. There you go. Everyone's going to be nailing after those militiamen. And they're scattered, so a massive cloud of cavalry is exactly what you want. Because they're going to pathfind like a dream. Leave none alive. Send a message to the garrison at New Mexico. Not New Mexico, Mexico City. Damn right, that was decisive. We lost hardly anyone in that engagement. We eviscerated the enemy force. Oh, look at that. 1,156 down to 115. The light cavalry. Just obliterating them. Excellent. Oh, okay, the Mughals have beat, taken another territory away from the Marathi Confederacy. Chromian Khanate's doing okay on their side of the deep side of things. Oh, Venice is. Oh, Venice is attacking the, uh, the you know the um, Ottoman Empire now. They might be pushed out of the Balkans altogether. The Iroquois and Clausenberg. That's interesting. Other than that, a Russia and Poland in an alliance. They are. Yep, yeah, with the French and the Ottomans. So if it kicks off, it kicks off big time. They have allies with the Prussians. They're at war with Prussia, and they're at war with Sweden, and they're at war with Austria. That's important to know. So this is all one massive war going on at the minute, and we don't have to pick sides. We can slowly, surely, continue our growth up the ladder. Guatemala's built port. 
just want to make sure we didn't just build another build a brig no i didn't good upgrade to a commercial port upgrade your sugar warehouse upgrade your government chambers because i'm pretty sure then that'll be it it's the end of your production queue Build some militia because there's New Spain is currently on the prowl. Demand the surrender of New Spain. Yes, if I attack New Mexico and take it, oh god, that's it. They've traded away Santa Fe to the Polish Empire, Poland Lithuania. For what in return? I don't know. But yeah, if we take New Mexico, then that's the end of New Spain, I think. Because I don't think they've got anywhere else. Let's upgrade this commercial port. Upgrade the military academy. Let's recruit a general from the colonial line. Roberto Marquez. Recruit one more gun team. Yeah, France has got another foot artillery unit. Be ready for the war. Maybe about to kick off soon. Instead, though, what's going to happen? Is we're going to take New Mexico. Actually, to be honest, that's not even a fight. So, do I just go? I mean, do I? Ooh, kicking off next episode, or do I? I just go like that. Because there was no, there's no suspense there. I'm more than happy to fight. Well, they're happy to fight, you know, plenty of battles, but when there's nothing to do, then what's the point? New Mexico is on our side. They've got a university somewhere, do they? It appears not. Some good mining income. And that unit there has disappeared, so actually our recruitment of militia can be cancelled. And we can recruit a sloop and repair the barracks and spend the extra money on replenishing some troops. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> interesting. Nation destroyed New Spain. Yeah, because they, because this army, for whatever reason, wasn't involved. And because it wasn't involved, there's no point fighting it. So yeah, bit unfortunate. Be careful of you, Alvin Villa. However, however, <laughs> right, one more turn to get reform naval administration. So I'm probably going to hit end turn again. Russia and Sweden are at war, which is perfect. That's what we want to see. Oh, they attacked Petrovskaya. No wonder that all kicked off. They demand. Oh, I didn't even know. We were no longer trading very well. No, just trade. Very well. If you do not wish to trade with us, then you can swivel. We will behave like equals, or we will behave not at all. It looks like, though, Austri Austria, not Australia, is keen to hold on to Istanbul. I'm not necessarily repairing it, but they've got a lot of troops nearby. It's so fun when there's a massive European war and I'm not involved. It looks like Sweden's turning the screws on Prussia. <laughs> They're building up their strength. Hey Sweden, how you doing? Where's all your pals? I think war with Sweden kicks off when we lose our French buffer or if France joins Sweden as our enemy actually no France is allied with Russia so Sweden will have to invade France they're not friends now yeah that's okay naval administration has been built oh I haven't agreed to my university here for a while you can go on to Carcassot next. New town emerges. Gran Canada in Guatemala. Craft workshop. 
Let's upgrade the coffee warehouse. Let's repair the Imperial Palace. Can you guys leave straight away? Minus four. Definitely not. Although once you repair the palace, you might be able to. Oh, lots of good upgrades for the mines. First of all, how goes your export? Your export's pretty good. So let's get some mine upgrades. Excellent. God, I've still got a few towns in Mexico. Two turns to Campeche. Here plus Villahermosa here plus Monterey up here. So let's get farms upgraded to boost to up to boost town growth. Then let's go ahead and upgrade. Well, it's our first cotton production. I think it is. 15 bales. It is. So let's boost our cotton production. So we've now added an extra good to our trade empire. That's pretty awesome. A thousand. Two turns till you get your next level port. I was on the fence about attacking this turn, but because the French might, the Swedish might be about to attack the United Provinces, I think we may as well wait and let them become pirate nations. I think that that will be enough. I want howitzers, but they won't be ready till next turn. One thousand, I think. Recruiter howitzer to your ranks. You've already got one unit of skirmishes. Let's get another unit on the go because you've got the money. They're actually quite cheap. Three hundred and sixty-seven skirmishes. Pretty good. And I can get rid of my navy guy. Boop. Oh my god, yes! Miguel Gill. You're the man we want. 25,000 next turn. That's pretty nice. Temple of Tech. Two more techs on the go. National Debt and Wealth of Nations. I mean, to be honest, when, the cam when there's interesting stuff going on in the world, I don't mind the end turns because it's like, ooh, what's going to happen? It looks like Austria's on the march to Athens. And this is why we require a strong navy. No, stop asking me for an alliance. I have no interest in fighting Austria. All Sweden go for the... Oh, they've taken it. Okay, right. This is what I mean. We gotta get ready. Are you gonna invade the Barbary States? It looks like you are. Did you do it? I didn't I didn't notice the change on the map. If they did, nice going, Genoa. They did good. Twenty four thousand, I think they did it. Oh, Savoy, sorry. Not Genoa, Savoy. So the Barbary States have been defeated. And the United Provinces is gone. Okay, gobble, gobble, gobble. Pac-Man time. I'm going to use this fleet here to chauffeur my army across. Embark. Embark the entire army. Because. Waka waka. Let's go get him. Whoop, 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 whoop. I mean, that's. That's what that is. And then. Can you guys leave? Dutch Guyana, pretty quick. You can replenish and get on immediately to Kaya. Don't let them, don't let them build up. So then here at Caracas, let's build two howitzers. Seed planting drill for field crop rotation. That's not bad. 
the national debt to the wealth of nations because that's the only thing you can actually research in the philosophy track. 19,000. New town emerges. Faro in Portugal. Craft workshop. Let's upgrade the naval board to a naval college to keep access to that valuable knowledge. Let's get a third rate ship of the line. I can st well, not this turn, but that will be that's a full strength battle fleet right there. Beautiful. You're heading your way up towards the front. Same with you. That's how it's done. That skirmishes to the south. I mean, it's tempting to send a detachment to uh, Ceylon. Well, Paul de Brino, if that's how you pronounce it. Because Ceylon is now right for the taking. But then again, the Candy Rebels, I'm, I'm, I'm not ready to invade India. I'm not ready. I want to f expand my hold in the Americas, and I may as well do that slow and steady. Although, you can recruit a second army, I suppose. Something like that. With two units of marines. 1300. Doesn't give me anything, but I, I mean, I've definitely overran now. <laughs> um, yeah, I was, I was kind of on a bit of a roll, and I was unwilling to uh, stop turn until something interesting happened but sadly it never actually did uh, you guys keep replenishing oh you can't let's knock down stop building the ordnance factory get you guys replenished is there anything you can build for the cheap no sadly not nice um but looking at the timer it's definitely time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of portugal well, I'm not quite entirely sure. Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to build an army here, sell them across, and they're going to hit uh, Boston, most probably. Maybe bring this force to join them. One goes north to Falmouth and secures the northern front, and one heads on south down the coast. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.